Okie dokie. Uh, we've got some hints about how to get to the anglerfish cave through the stepping stone cave. These are all connected to that, right? Anglerfish overlook district. Like, how okay, let's just find out what this does. Oh, it lights things up. I probably should have done this much earlier. <laughs> Those are probably not going to stay active though, are they? Ha! Huh. That's a handy way to find out which direction you want to go. What's what then? Eye Shrine. Okay, I've, I've been to that. High Energy Lab Trailhead. That's why I came here in the first place. That's on the Quantum Moon Locator. Stepping Stone District is where I want to go. And Anglerfish. So where is that one? Down there. Which looks like it's going to be a problem. <laughs> so we can't do that right now. Unless we just die. I could probably just kill myself. Yes? <laughs> This is such a terrible way to go. I need to die, so I'm gonna stick myself between the sand and the cliff. Uh, it's not working. It's pushing me away. No, 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 no. Surely that will kill me. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. So, of course, we're going to head straight back there again. I wonder if there is, like, some fast way to get to the planets that I just haven't found yet. I've, of course, found ways of teleporting, but not some, like, system that I can use to just, like, from here, arbitrarily go to Ember Twin or whatever. I suppose it doesn't take that long to fly there. Another one. Okay, so we're heading to... We're going to put a light in the anglerfish's mouth. And then we're going to go to the stepping stone cave. And presumably from there we'll be able to find the way into the anglerfish cave. Undershot target. Is that my fault or is that your fault? Where's the thingy? Look at that cool little tower over there. Here we go. There's so much to see on the surface. That's probably true of all the other planets that I've been to as well. Uh... Okay. Let's go. Why is there a light flashing over here? Is there, or is it something else? Hmm. Hmm. In we go. Ah! <laughs> Should probably turn that on. So graceful. So there is a way to the right. I wonder if the, like they actually lead to interesting things or if they're just dead ends. At some point I'll have to explore them, find out. This way. This is the way we go. Uh, this way. This way. This way. And through the door. 
Oh, well. Sure, it's over there. And then go this way. Um, and do this. Hmm. Almost. What's well, got a light on its head? Is that not enough? Wait, what? Is there a hole there? Interesting. There's a hole in its mouth. Okay. That's why I had to put that there. I had to fall down its throat. Okay, so. Now that I know what these things do. I probably should have done those first. They are like highlighted in a way that makes you think like, this must be important. But I thought it might turn this into a teleport or something. Uh, so it's this one. So down there. Have I walked through this bit before? Yes, this is where the kids are. Uh, where's the cave then? Or are they going the wrong way? Maybe I did. Maybe it's down here somewhere. Oh gosh. I think I'm going too far down. Surely. Because uh, that bit lit up. So that's what I don't understand. Oh, over there maybe. Yes, okay. But I also want to check out... Is this just that same place? Am I going around in circles? Is this the kids' place? Yes, it is. All right. And this is what? That's just the steps down. All righty. Yeah. Okay, let's find out what these stepping stones are all about. We're going to be jumping. Or I guess they'd be called jumping stones if I was jumping between them. Uh, well, that does sort of look like a <laughs> thing to jump to. Oh, gosh. Are these the stepping stones that I'm jumping across? I guess so. I've got a feeling though, the place I want to go is like, well, I guess I could use my scouts, I think. Yeah, okay, I think it's over there, but let's go see what's here first. Maybe it just connects up to a place I've already been. Ooh. Hello? Ooh. Cool doors. Very fancy. Oh, ah, it's the other side of what seemed to be a broken door. In fact, it was broken. Look, okay, that's cool. So that connects back up to where the kids' rooms were. Um... This is just a cave. Oh, this is the stepping stone cave, just the other side of it. Yeah, not the other side, but like above, above where I left. Okay, so my scout is over there. Where did it land? Right there, okay. I see. Oh, clever, clever. Oh gosh, let me up. Oh no, that's down. Ah. Don't fall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, how do I go up in a better way? <laughs> sure. There we go. We're finally here. How did you get here, Anglerfish? Oh gosh. Are these are the kids. They look pretty small. Oh no. 
Whoever, whoever was it when we ended last time is the angler. Oh, whoever was it, I see, when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change, the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's, it's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie, Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are, are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Maybe I should be making notes of like a family tree here. Uh, I, might, I might actually start doing that. So Pie is the aunt. So I don't know who the brother or sister is, um, but they have a child called Lady. Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us still wear it for scientific accuracy to make the game more even. So Ilex is like is slightly older, but I think still a kid of some sort. The rest, of, the rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. <laughs> yeah, I've played this game. <laughs> Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold because of the little fish. I see. Okay, so we learnt their rules. It, I mean, does this somehow help me with the real anglerfish? Do I just need to take its blindfold? Interesting. There's got to be a more of a purpose to this. There's also that window up here. What's this about? Where do you go? Huh. Maybe this is just for lore, I don't know. Not sure. Oh. Oh yeah, I did notice that before. Aha! More stuff. It looks like I might be coming to the surface as well. Mallory, anglerfish study. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescence. Perhaps it used this growth to attract prey, a law. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish in Dark Bremble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. This anglerfish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation. An update. Mallory, while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added the rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. <laughs> I'm entirely delighted. I'm, I'm, it's never too early to appreciate biology. Nice. So we need to learn more about him going missing. Ah, we're back outside. Okay. Now I'm assuming that this door won't stay open <laughs> when we reset. And the beacon's just over there, so we're close to the ship. Uh, is there anything behind you? No. Where do you go? You must... Oh wait, you're just a ceiling, aren't you? Yes, okay. You're just to get up here. Alrighty, uh, I could do with some oxygen, so maybe I should go to my ship. Oh, which is right here! <laughs> refuel as well. Okay, um, that was interesting. So there's a door right here, but presumably not openable from this side. You can also tell there's like, um, there's like broken bits on the floor. So that's probably to say it's not open from this side or openable. What's that? That's on this side of the sun, right? It's not the Phantom Moon, is it? 
Uh, if it is, I don't want to look away. <laughs> is it? Ah, but I'm gonna have to look away. Like I can't get in my ship and sit down. But this, it, it's probably gone already. <laughs> I think it was it though, wasn't it? I'm gonna have to catch it when I was flying. Yeah, that was it. Um, oh. Mm. Yes, okay. Apparently I hadn't looked away, but <laughs> that was the thing. Um, all right, we'll, we'll go back to that afterwards anyway. Wait, so where's the other cave that I went in before? Oh, it was like over the other side of the ship because I basically missed the door, didn't I? Huh? There we go. So now I might have more context for this because it was talking about... Uh, let's turn this off. Um, it was talking about... Uh, visits to a cave to, to, to learn about something. Well, yeah, I, no, this, this must have been to this cave to learn about this rock, right? If on any side of Coleus, I implore you to tell me he vanished without a trace during our research trip. It's been missing ever since. Oh, yeah, this was to do with the lake bed on the north. Some of us in the Southern City. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Maybe it's not him that's not there anymore, but you. Okay, maybe we should go do that. Although there's also more in this place, maybe. Well, this just leads out, another exit. We're quite near the North Pole. Yes, there's another way out. And it heads right to the North Pole. Unidentified signal. Ah! There's somebody here, one of my fellow adventurers. Is this a lake? What material is that? Well, I don't expect there to be much water on this place. It's a little bit hot for that. Uh, I was probably supposed to come speak to you earlier. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, hello. Are you a golden egg? Uh, <laughs> you're also not too hot up here. about. Okay. Shirt. Hmm? Oh, it's you. I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. What are you up to? Hornfells noticed our star charts are out of date, so I came out here to update them. Something seems how to put this off. I've seen, what, 10 supernovae by now? 12? They're in the double digits now, and that's, you know, not normal. Not normal at all. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> do you mean stars in the distance, <laughs> right? Not this one. Was there something you needed? Um, why are so many stars going supernova? I have no idea. Most stars go supernova when they reach the end of their lifespan, so it's possible the stars are older than we realized, or maybe our models are wrong, and they don't live as long as we expected. Honestly, I'm not fond of either option. If our charts are wrong, what else is wrong? And our sun? No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I I'm probably overlooking something, that's it. I just need to collect more data. Let's say I found something. Please tell. Okay, apparently I haven't found anything. <laughs> hey, I want to speak to you still. Uh, what are you doing out here? Well, I was, that is, I originally came out here to update our star charts. Now though, I'm trying to find, figure out what's going on with the stars. There's so many, too many supernovae. Why are so many stars dying out? I've never seen anything like this. 
Frankly, I'm worried and a little scared. What are you wearing on your head? <laughs> Plus, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with the little scouts. So I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsites. Have you seen the old shipwreck site in the in-between southern hemisphere? The one shooting, yes, I have. The one shooting a bright beam of light in the sky. It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. This one's a Nomai ship, and you didn't inspect it? <laughs> You'll find no my ruins across the twins, but strangely not a single settlement. Believe me, if there's one to see, I've seen it with my little scouts. Yeah, okay. So where do they live? Not on the surface, clearly. The Emmetwin is full of cave systems, though, so maybe that answer lies on the ground. A scale of one to dead, I'd give it seven or eight. It's awfully pretty, though. That was in response to the sand. Right now, stands flowing from Ash Twin to Ember Twin. Oh, that's what that column is. Oh, I see. That's cool. So Ash Twin is producing the sand, and uh, it's, well, I guess it's Ash, maybe? It's falling on Ember Twin. But did you know the process actually eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. That is cool. That explains why it happens over and over again. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. Ah. Neat. That was useful. Okay. So that's where that sand's coming from. Um, so evidence of where uh, Coleus went to should be on the lake bed, but the lake bed is currently covered in sand. So it doesn't seem super plausible. Wait. Is this yours? Yes, presumably yours. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit late to see what's going on in the lake bed. If it is the lake bed that I need to be going to. Oh, I should probably identify the signal. Just so I don't leave it unidentified. Chert, there we go. Yeah, the sun's a little too high now. And that sun is a little too massive. Feldspar's in the sun. And that's the way I came in. It's a little bit blocked up now. Did you say anything else? You said something about the North Pole. Well, that's where we are. I guess you also just told me how to find uh, the stuff I've already found. I see, it makes sense now. Oh, look how small it's got. Okay, maybe we should be going over there then. Can I just fly to it? I feel like I'm not really in the right orientation. But we might make it, or I might just land in the sun. Ah. Ah, I'm making it, we're good. Ooh, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in this place. This is such a great game. Ah. Oh my gosh, no, did take me back? No! No! Drop me out. I'm gonna go back down. What is with these? Is this where I just landed? No, this is different, right? Or is it the same? This is the same, okay. I wanna go... Down here and not get caught in the sand. Stop it. Ah. Ah. No, I'm back on here. Didn't want that. What's this thing? Ow. Okay, let me go back, please. Ah. <laughs> it's because it's like rotating around them. Okay. Back over we go. This is my like opportunity to. Oh my gosh! I think I almost went towards the sun. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> wow, we are pretty close to it, aren't we? Let's see what's in here. Trees. Always happy to see some trees. Uh, another door. 
We don't have the music yet, so I think we've still got time. And then possibly a teleporter place. Interesting. Wonder where this lines up with. This just comes back out the other side. Okay, we've got the music. We don't have long left. Uh, let's keep going. I think this is just for teleporting somewhere. I don't know where though. I also don't know if it would work without me doing some kind of setup. Okay, this is also a teleporting place. Uh, come on, let me down. Wait, is that not where I'm supposed to go? Oh, I see. Clary, here's our first delivery, Yarrow. One warp core, fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core's sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. So this is a Brittle Hollow teleport, maybe? I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my own fish work there is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ashwood Project is underway. I confess, I'm deeply curious about what you and Poke found at the Whitehall Station. Uh oh, the start of this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? I recommend you do. The Whitehall Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin Project, so this station would be doubly useful. I suppose, more precisely, I would like to visit the Whitehall Station with you, Clary. Ah. I guess I'll read that later. <laughs> it's interesting, though. That's given me some more information about the Ash Twin Towers, I think. Are they all towers to teleport to places? Because there were multiple teleport things there. Maybe that's like the hub world. Ah, we'll be going back to Ember and Ash. Should be good.